gives me goosebumps here in the song. I have a Demon Souls, first Souls game I played. Some people it was Dark Souls, Demon Souls for me. Played it back when it wasn't available. I've told it many times. Played it back when it wasn't available over anywhere but in Japan and China. I had to import a Chinese version that had a English uh, language setting on it. Played through that. Didn't know what any of the trophies were because they were all in Chinese. But I enjoyed it. Dude, let's, just get, let's get going, man. Music in this. I, do you know what I'm honestly most excited for? Is to hear that is to hear the new version of One Who Craves Souls, which is a song that plays at the credits if you pick the, I guess the bad ending or whatever the fuck that means. <laughs> but uh, I I, I want to hear that. I want to hear what that song sounds like in this. I don't know if there is a bad ending, but it's because there's two different credit songs in this. There's one that plays if you pick the go to the thing and then there's the one where you walk away I think one who craves souls is when you walk away PlayStation yeah actually I wouldn't really be available on my monitor <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. No subtitles on, I guess. On the first day, on the first day. I'm glad it tells me that. Man was granted a soul, and with it, clarity. Dun, dun. And on the second day, he danced. Upon earth was planted an irrevocable poison. A soul-devouring demon. Who has got the voices? Those sucks, dude. It's a shame that actually fighting that is so fucking lame. <laughs> it's a cool, it's a cool ass monster, but actually fighting it is fucking lame as shit. Rubber baby baby bunkers! Happy December. <laughs> Misty Hawk, thank you for the 17 months and the emote. Me, 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 me. Yeah, you gotta have that. What's the point if you don't have that on? Immersive. Oh, I love it. Yes, 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 yes. Ooh, control the speaker mode. Yeah, I love that one. Oh, performance, cinematic. Uh, let's have performance, please. Uh, 
uh, it's actually headphones being output too. <laughs> but okay. Don't know what midnight mode is supposed to be, but I. Chase wall assist? <laughs> okay. Um, I don't want to be in the US East, please. Thank you. Take your helmet off. Oh, interesting. I have heard they've up the faces quite a bit for this. It softens loud sounds and make lo make makes soft sounds louder. Uh, that might actually be quite helpful. Jesus, that looks ridiculous. Just looking at the visual clarity of that compared to the original is kind of insane. Oh my god, the face is ridiculous. What the fuck? That's crazy. Well, that's definitely the best face you've ever had in a soul game. <laughs> Oh, I figured that for Lumbra. I just didn't know what it... I knew what it was for. I just didn't really know what it did. <laughs> How it helped at late night. The old wonder. The old... Wow, I do... I love the armor that night. That looks so good. I don't think there was a naked option in the uh, in Demon Souls. No, I don't remember ever, don't remember there ever being a naked option in Demon Souls. That started from Dark Souls. My juggalo it does look like a juggalo, but it's not. Right. This thing, I have heard, is is like a no-brainer in terms of attempts for me to take at the start. <laughs> Helps item discovery. Oh my god, yes please. Yes please, Jesus Christ. This is a new one they've added for this. This wasn't in the original. Yes. Good god, if there's one thing that this game needs more of that, it's that. Oh, you can, ah, you can save the oh. Define the foundation of your character. Do you know the definition of sanity? Yeah, it's an overused thing people say. <laughs> That's the definition of sanity. That one. So what grunt do you prefer? Man, these faces are outrageous. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, what am I seeing here? The faces, oh my god, look at this. These faces, what? That is terrifying. 
These faces are incredible. Oh my god, that is terrifying. Dude, that's fucking awesome. Holy shit. I love the look of that. Oh my god, look at the, 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 the little the little mouth movements. Oh my god, dude. Jesus Christ, the faces in this are insane. This is insane. Absolutely insane. These might be the best faces I've ever seen in a game. <laughs> she looks really worried. Oh, I don't know. Like, these might be the best faces I've ever seen in a game. In terms of, like... I really like that face. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave that one for now. Skin. Oh my god. It's funny, you know, older faces almost always look more realistic to me in games. You'd be my age, you'd be 30. Like if I'm doing if I'm doing a fantasy character, I'm not I'm not I'm not making myself a chunky person. It's not my fantasy. You're my sexual fantasy. Oh my god, those eyes! Holy shit! Those eyes are terrifying. I like those. <laughs> oh, I love how blue it is. Dude, you could totally make fucking cloud or whatever in this. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, these teeth. That's lovely. A you heal? A healer. <laughs> I love the uh, <laughs> the monster choppers. Those are great. <laughs> Butt chin. Damn, the hair's really good as well. Whoa. That looks nuts. Yeah, his punch and moves his chin tattoo. <laughs> uh, it's the old, that looks like the old Boris Johnson that does before he got his hair redone. Now I just look like I've just come out of a fucking hot topic. 
Hey guys. What's going on guys? It's me. Looks like the collector from Marvel. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they've avoided, um, like, male, female. So it's like, choose body type. And then within that, you can pick, like, the default, what would have been the default female running off uh, animation for the male or female. So they've uh, they've seen, they've they've looks like they've avoided kind of doing like male female, more just on a sliding scale of things basically. <laughs> I kind of love that hair for some reason. <laughs> Dad, you look like a look like I just made a little boy band boy, doesn't it? Oh, it looks too, it looks too weird when it's like full one color. That's the color of. That's the color of, of Lightning's hair from Final Fantasy Thirteen. that is. Whoa! The way it flops down is hilarious. Ah, the My First Mustache look. <laughs> I call that the My First Mustache. Can be in physics and then it's crazy. You little stubble. Oh, you can do side bends as well. This hair looks ridiculous on him now. Just have no hair. <laughs> I'm a no head boy. I kind of love that hair, if I'm honest. Mostly because that's like a longer version of what I have. <laughs> that's that's my hair if I don't shave the sides, basically. That annoyingly suits him just because he looks like he's just wandered out of a fucking hot topic with that. The ponytail suits them quite a bit as well. I quite like these two, actually. We'll go with the lovely style. We'll go with the lovely style and haircut. This, my my boy's gonna have a nice style to him. Try to make myself. Oof, that's difficult. I'll be here forever if I do that. And I want to play the game. That's kind of cool.
Da, 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 da. Scar tattoos. Yeah, that would be, uh, that was rough. That was very Siggy Stardust. A little makeup on there. <laughs> Damn. Okay, now, now I've just come out of Hot Topic. You just, it's just a phase, okay? You don't understand me. You don't understand me. Listen, Mom. It's not a phase. It's not a phase. It's not just a phase. It's how I want to be. Ah, the Mike Tyson. <laughs> Ah, beautiful butterfly. You gotta have some you gotta have some scarage going on. Get your boy looking a bit like he's he's been through a couple of fights, you know. The old eye scar looking looking fucking cool, boy. Give you uh If we give you the old eye scar, we'll give you we'll give you that. You've had you've had a nasty you've had a bad day of it. You've had you've had some nasty scars. Maybe I should change the facial hair to be white if if it's if, if the hair is white. do that. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, he's make it like that. Give him that. Let's give him, let's give him some facial hair. Fuck it. Let's do it. Let's just give him uh, enough of that. And uh, oh, <laughs> oh, how rug he looks so rugged now. If I'm doing that, I gotta age him up. <laughs> I've done that thing I do where I always make old grizzled men in these games. I'm like, I wanna be a I wanna be a grizzled old man. The hair now looks strange though. Like he's just he's got too young a hairstyle for like an old man. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like fucking Hawkeye's hair in in Endgame. We're like it doesn't look quite look right. Ah, fuck it. We'll keep it. Whatever. I'm the target audience for the game devs who keep making 40-year-old dad protagonists. Yeah, it's weird. Despite the fact having no inclinations for kids, I, I love stories about fathers protecting their children. <laughs> Like, I love that about... It gets me, that does. He looks good for 65. He does, doesn't he? You're gonna have those scars, actually, yeah. yeah. Beautiful. Alright, I think that's good. I'm happy with that. I haven't fucked with the ears at all. This is the least monstrous person I've ever made. I've just made a cool guy. I made a cool little anime demon dude. If he is old, though, I tell you what, make him look old. If I get, I need to give him big eyebrows. Old dudes have big eyebrows. I mean, his nose would also be huge.
Beautiful. All right, I like him. I like him. I like him. Now let's put him in a helmet and never see his face again. <laughs> Um, we'll be the Wanderer. So we can see that beautiful face of his, man. I can't, I want to be able to see that face. I really do. Oh, I got into the name, yeah, of course. Mm. I literally default to Kreinstein. Why did I default to Kreinstein? Every time I make an old person, I call him Kreinstein. What is this? Was a helmet toggle? Yeah, I saw the helmet toggle. I always go to Kreinstein. It's like my default now. I don't know why. I either go Kreinstein or I go Moop. Those are like the two names I default to. Reminds me of this character from the Vinland Saga. That's what it looks like. Oh yeah, like a creepy demon version of that. <laughs> I see what you mean. Uncle Father. Because he is Kreinstein. He is, it is, it's true, he is Kreinstein. Squeeb. <laughs> oh shit! Squeeb! My new favorite word. What a squeeb, dude. This guy is such a squeeb. Come on, squeeb, let's go. Zonk off, squeeb. Daddy Squeeb. <laughs> there we go. It's Daddy Squeeb. No, I don't want Uncle Squeeb. I want to do Daddy Squeeb. <laughs> Daddy Squeeb. Come on, Daddy. Let's go. Daddy Squeeb. He's my boy. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was bum, cut off bum, from the bum, outside bum, world, bum, 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 and those who dared bum, bum, penetrate bum, the deep bum, fog bum, bum, never returned. Dun, 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 but dun, Valifax dun, of the royal dun, twin dun, fangs dun, broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had roused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber. And that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls lose also their minds. The mad attack the sane and chaos reigns. Valifax also spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. Look at those fucking things. Look at those chunky boys. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors lured by the possibilities braved the fisher to breach the accursed land. But none have returned. Pure of the twin fangs. Yet the silent chief. Oh, Bior. Saint Urbane. Skurva the Wanderer, the sixth Saint Astria, with her knight Galvin. Oh, fucking Galvinland! And Sage Freak the Visionary. He's such a piece of shit the to get out. The deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow. All lands near and far. But 
Boratoria has one final hope. Daddy Squeebs coming to get those demons. Who has braved the baneful fog? Oh, has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Uh, rate slash review Daddy Squeeb. Strong daddy powers. Hot squeeb levels. Oh shit. <laughs> Brave soul who fears not death. Highly respect. I shall guide you to the fisher. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. What is Daddy Squeeb's backstory? Whoa! <laughs> that is a cool as shit way to load in. Damn, look at my eyes. Oh my god, this looks fucking beautiful. Holy shit. Man, this compared to the original is kind of insane. Blind Run? I've played Demon's Souls before. I've never played the remake, but I have. I played Demon's Souls many times when I was when it when it came out. Attack me? You gonna attack me, dude? Ooh, felt that. I felt that in the controller. Make sure I don't forget any of the controls in this game. Yeah. Oh, I love the sounds. Very loud. Very loud sound. <laughs> Damn. This looks so good. I don't remember how different the controls in Demon's Souls were to Dark Souls. I'm just taking it all in, baby. I'm just taking it all in. It is dark as hell in here. God, I remember like all this, but it just like it doesn't look like the same game just because it's so it looks so good. Oh, nice! That was cool animation. God, a little physics of all the little things flying around after you hit him. That's cool as shit. 
This is going to be a very slow play for I'm telling you right now, probably. Because I just enjoy taking in all the visuals of the game. <laughs> Seeing a game that I loved playing when I was younger, like, remade in such, remade in such a way. I forgot about their insane attack. Remade in such a way. And we got the floppy bodies, which is, like, one of my favorite parts. The freaking floppy bodies, dude. Oh, that was so cool. They're like... Oh my god, the sounds, just like you can hear, like... What was that, the little bit of metal that was... Was it the sword there that did that? I'm just really impressed by, like, the sounds. Yeah. Of, like, the environment. Yeah, like that. That little scraping of metal on the floor, because I bashed. What even was that I touched? I have no idea. Ed's sharpening stone. Yeah, you go over here, and then you drop off over by there. Fault over, fault over railings. Okay, <laughs> that's a that's a cool new sound. Oh, it's different. Wait, I remember do I I don't remember if you did that in originally or not. I can't remember if you rolled through it or vaulted over it. Yeah, Billy comes over graphics and noise and demon souls. That's probably what today is going to be. Yes, backstep and roll. Oh, ah, oh, ah, 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 stop that. I tried to parry him and it did not work very well. Yeah, the light reflection on the warp is amazing. Oh, that's where I was before. Oh, oh my god, what the fuck? You scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Take down the uh, the tutorial boss first time. Oh, I forgot that this took you away. Am I playing on a 4K monitor? No. <laughs> I can't. There's, there's not much point having it in 4K. I stream in 1080, so there's no point capturing having it in 4K for you. Well, I don't really want to have to buy a 4K monitor. And also, I won't lie to you, I'm not too fast on 4K. Plus, also, I'd rather the game ran better in 1080 than in 4K. I'm much more about it running better than I am in... Uh, yeah. Looking amazingly beautiful. Sound it makes for the souls goodie. This is cool. I'm like remembering it how it looked in the original and then remembering how it looks here. It's kind of nutty. 
those like little leaves. Oh shit, I remember these boys. Damn, that looks fucking cool as hell. If you ever want to parry, now's the time. Ah, bad timing, bad timing. I know that games tend to run better not in 4K. Like, not all games can, can can't manage a steady 60 in 4K. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait, wait, I forgot about wielding in two hands. What you got? What you got? Oh my god, he does the exact same. I remember they saying they hadn't really changed the way that the AI works. <laughs> he does the same thing where he kind of just like gets a shield ready all the time. You always, you always do that, just sit there fucking ready in his shield non stop the whole time. Moon grass. What's that? Oh, Jesus, this looks way different. Holy shit. <laughs> Daddy Squeeb. Oh, God, the freaking tenancies. Oh, my God, the tenancies. <laughs> Those are the most confusing part of this game by far. Oh, I forgot I had a dagger. I think someone asked what class I was before. I, I, I went as a wanderer. Oh, oh, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. That heals like nothing. I remember that healing so little. Soul games have any story? They have story, they just don't have story shoved in your face. The story in the Souls games is all subtle and to the side. It's all told through uh, item descriptions and characters telling you stuff now and then. But none of the story is like, it's not, it's, the story is just there. It's one of the reasons people love Souls games is that the story is not, they aren't like, you know, massive cutscenes you have to go through, the story is not rubbed in your face. Some people probably don't like that, to be fair. And I'll be honest, I pay little to no... I pay very little attention. Very little attention to the, um... Very little attention to the story most of the time. <laughs> but, uh... It is there. If you, want, if you want to look for it, it's there. I don't think you can jump in this one, can you? You can actually make that one up. You can. Oh, hello. Oh.
They're on uh, they're on PC as well, military. The soul stuff. So all the all the all the ones but Demon Souls and Bloodborne uh, are on PC. Not on Steam. Is this the boss fight? Get naked if it is. Oh my god, that thing is fucking terrifying. Butt jiggle on this guy, dude. It's insane. Get his cheeks go, boys. <laughs> no, you don't have to beat that guy. In fact, most of the time when you play this game, you won't be that guy. Why did I take my shield off? <laughs> when you play this game, when you play this game for the first time, most of the time you just get you go in and go. But yeah, you wanna you wanna go in there with as little clothes as possible because you wanna spend your whole time behind, on his butt, just smacking his cheeks, clapping them cheeks. Love the way it. Yeah, and then you get this. If you beat that boss, you get this little. You get this little bonus bit here, basically, which is awesome. You get to see, you get to see this. To get a cheeky uh, bit of uh, stone, I believe. Things give me goosebumps, man. This looks this looks fucking awesome. Got a stone. Damn, dude, that looks so fucking cool. Oh no, you do get a stone. That's the dude you fight at the end of the uh, second archstone. So, there's a lot of bodies around here, dude. 
Maybe don't walk towards it. <laughs> you get all these cheeky extra items if you if you do the tutorial. This is gonna be fucking loud now. <laughs> they had his blood in there. You died. Yeah, the game's just like, by the way, you're gonna die. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Soul of the lost. Withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. <laughs> this is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Voluntaria. Thou canst not quit the Nexus, but the five archstones will guide thee to the outer lands. You've died in the Nexus has imprisoned your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your corporeal body. Time for taking a chance. This is usually where people just write loads of messages all over the place. Time for talking. With no stamina shield, defense is ineffective. Time is consumed. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Actually, maybe these are all just <laughs> tutorial things. I can't remember. Yeah, these are all just tutorial things. This is where it's like, hey, if you want to learn extra stuff, just come over here and read all the fucking things around here. Since he purchased white, the shrimp dem dem demons diminishes. Since he purchased black, demons will pose more of a threat. Be the man in which they died. Hey, it's the old forlorn guy. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls. Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero. <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came. That sounds like the same voice acting. Some of the voice acting has been redone because they like some of them they've some of them they've managed to get the old act the old voice actors and back. And that one sounds like it was lifted straight from the original uh Dark Souls. Um I don't think so, Fal. I honestly it was it's kinda hard to tell in the original Demon Souls. <laughs> I'm Stockpile Thomas. Oh my god, his face I'm is terrible. I'm the Scourge King. I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here in this nexus. My wife. I think I most of it's re recorded, Barrow. I mean, they remember them saying they couldn't get some of the original the voice actors back. So if they couldn't get some but of the original voice of a cast, I'd imagine they just reused it. At the very least. Just because I his voice acting sounds, to you, brave the quality of the audio of sounds different to this, to the 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 new. I would be happy to lighten your load. The re the redone ones. Any excess baggage. When the scourge came, I abandoned 
my wife and daughter. This is definitely being revoiced. And fled like a coward. When I came to, I was in this nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. I wish I could do more. Old stockpile, Thomas. But <laughs> I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. His face, his face moving around. Best of luck to you. Yo, it's the blacksmith. I've forgotten his name, but I remember him. Mm. You knew here. Are you here for my services? The name's Baldwin. Baldwin, it's that's an it. Blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons. Or forge the ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, eh? Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, it's pretty good. I need a little bit more shows to upgrade that. Crack stone eye. Restricts health recovery temporarily. You come back alive. I need your business. Trade your souls. You come back alive. All right, we don't get to level up in this until we've beaten the Phalanx. Oh my, how has this happened? The faces has in this are bonkers, dude. Us for King Alant, failing to show proper respect. Oh, Buster. Would you recommend for a beginner to start with in this? Um, what do you mean, like the class? Probably just the starter one, like either the knight or the one before it. Probably the warrior. Warrior's got good stats for trying out different weapons and stuff. The knight's just very heavy. I will almost certainly end up with you being dead if you try to fight the knight. If you trying to fight, trying to fight the first. The tutorial boss of the night without taking off your armor almost always ends with you dying. <laughs> because you're just too slow. Time for dying. Uh, I'd never really use magic because baby. <laughs> uh, I just, I've, I've, never, I've never enjoyed magic in Souls games much. The only magic I ever use in Souls games is, um, is like weapon enchanting stuff. Magic's for squeebs. Wait a minute. I, I'm daddy squeeb, so I guess that makes me okay to use magic? Yeah, no, I've, I've never been much of the magic. I mean, yeah, magic is... I think magic is really strong in this game. Strong in a lot of the games, honestly. I've never really, like, I've never really been like, yeah, let's do a magic build. Oh, yeah, I forgot about all this. Music's different in the Nexus. Unless it was always like this. It's not the same as it used to be. Unless they... Unless it, the music didn't change until you beat the Phalanx. I don't really remember. You 
came for demon souls. Or to save this land. Yeah, I don't I think that's the original. As a hero. I don't think that's being revoiced. But it's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. Maybe I have. I don't know. I know they said they couldn't get all the voice cast back. As long as we keep slashing up demons. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I have. You came for demons? <laughs> We're welcome. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it. Let's go to the gates of Boletaria. A huge stone castle in the heart of the northern kingdom of Boletaria. Hungry soldiers attack trespassers. Their souls stolen by demons. Well, nearby terrible dragons have taken root. The dragons! King of the Squeebs! King of the Squeebs! Those are bodies? I always thought you just had a weird beard. Yeah, I always thought you had like a weird tentacle beard, not not a mouthful of bodies. So this person died by Carrying too much, <laughs> apparently. Oh, look at this. Damn, dude, this looks amazing. I remember rightly, down here there is a there's a gate here that only opens up if you have I think it's like pure white world tenancy or something like that. Or pure black. The animations for the kills are way better. If you have black soul tenancy you can proceed, yeah. Freaking hat, man. Oh, no, he died. Damn, I tried to parry twice and failed miserably. <laughs> my parries, they're, uh, my parry game is not on. I'm not on, I'm not on, uh, on fleek. Yeah, get sit your ass down. There's a guy with a Torch by him there. That way we can't go this way and yet. We have to come back around. Classic thing. So we go up and around. And then this is where the first boss is. 
We go all the way around so that we can open up this door, basically. Firebomb. You are beautiful. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna... That's fine. <laughs> That's a fine, fine and foul. I love it. It's a fine message. You are beautiful. You up, down, and roll around. Yep. Oh, there's the bow guy. Yeah. Yep, there he is. There's a guy here. Yeah, there's a... I should just want to quickly... Made a guy fall down the hole there. <laughs> The sounds are so loud <laughs> compared to everything else. It's insane. I don't know if that's on purpose though, because the sound effects are like an important part of this game. Yeah. Alright, well, we'll try midnight mode. Playing the PS3 startup, PS2, PS2 startup down there. PS2 was the uh, thingies that was a little bit. It was like, ah, ha, ha. oh my god, that almost killed me. I'm trying to correct you on which which console it was, and I fucking almost set myself on fire. That's what I get. That's what I get. I got a, I, the game taught me a harsh lesson. Don't be an actually. Don't be an actually, be a factually. What? Oh. Oh. oh yeah, oh yeah? Yeah, don't get up again, buddy, don't get up. I was like, as he, as his hand moved, I was like, I remember this guy. I remember this. He'd always hit me with his firebombs. <laughs> Flashbacks to get constantly getting hit by firebombs from him. Oh man, I love the, the controller feels really good in this, like... That when you like strike stuff, it feels so good. Pine resin that sets my weapon on fire. We're gonna use that on Phalanx because he is doesn't like fire. Oh yeah, they're up above me, aren't they? There's one behind me and there's one over there.
get over there. It'll all come back to me. It'll all come back to me. I think you break the... You... I swear you can... I swear you could break that. Misremembering that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love... I love that you can, like... I... I love that you, like, climb the wall. I, I did that, something about that I just found really cool. Right, somewhere around here there's a boulder that gets pushed. Oh, I almost fucking rolled off the edge then. I think it's somewhere around here. Oh, that's I, rem I remember now. I remember how you get the thing. The boulder rolls down, breaks that, so you can get the sword. That's it. That one gets that one. That one definitely got me when I first played this game. That one got me good. I remember it. <laughs> I remember being like. Son of a bitch! I'll give you like the yeah, I guess cool. Tends to be the combo thing. The old bastard sword. Better damage, but heavier. Only better damage by one though. Yeah, the parrying is very satisfying. Hello. <laughs> Whoa! Oh yeah, yeah, the bow guy is up here. <laughs> you gotta do, buddy. Oh, what you gonna do? Oh, ah, what the guy? Wow! Ah. <laughs> Trump being bastard, yeah. Huh. Yeah, how about you come over here? I know you, you know don't hide with the bow guy. I know what you're doing. I remember your tricks. I remember your tricks. Half moon grass. Right, now down this way is that dude who is ridiculously hard to kill. <laughs> there's the, yeah, there's the, there's this knight. And then there's that old King Alant, I think. Yeah, old King Alant, who is like in green armor and is, it has the most ridiculous health pool. Dude, I can't get over like the fog and everything. It's just so, the environment here is so good. Exactly. That's, ex that's exactly how I used to kill them. <laughs> that's exactly how I used to kill them. Roll behind them, stab them in the back, and then slash them. You can drop down there. I'm going to do that in a minute. First, I want to open up the shortcut by going this way. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. We go, we go down here, and we open up the shortcut right where we saw at the start with a uh, with a portcullis. I don't remember if there's any fake walls in this. Oh shit! Yep, I remember those. <laughs> the, yep, yep, yep. Remember that. Remember that. Freaking explosive dudes. Yep. The, sorry, explosive dudes. The barrels that explode. Look at left. Oh yeah, you have to cut this and an item drops down. Boop. Can't remember what it is, but there is an item in there. I don't remember if this is one or not. Oh, it is. Okay. Not very useful armor, yeah, and it isn't really, is it? <laughs> There's only two illusion walls in the whole game. Is there? I don't really remember any illusion walls in this game. The Kling Ring, which if I remember rightly, gives us... Oh no, this is shortcut here. It's not that one. I got the wrong shortcut, right. Kling Ring, less HP reduction, but in soul form, yeah. A little bit more, a little bit more HP. The Age Spice, old ragged boots, old ragged gloves, and old ragged robes. And Jade Hair Ornament. Yeah, the Jade Hair Ornament you give to Stockpile Thomas, I'm pretty sure. Or either him or the, um... Uh, the blacksmith. I think it's Stockpile Thomas, though. There's one added by Bluepoint and one from the original. Oh. Interesting. Plain Jade Hair Ornament of the kind worn by commoners. <laughs> Bye face. No, we don't want that. We don't want that. Can't wear the old ragged boots because uh, I don't... Um... Oh yeah, <laughs> you, have to, you have to have type A body. To be able to wear those. I saw a lot of people uh, who hadn't played this game before being like, I've been running around with a bunch of souls in my inventory for ages and I still haven't worked out how to level up yet. <laughs> and I was like, oh yes. The beginning of this game is quite mean. You know, it, it makes you conserve your souls for quite a bit before you, you can actually use them. Ah, the wooden bolt. Yes, yes, yes. I want to see if it has the, uh... Oh, it doesn't have the force thing on it. Maybe that's, maybe it's only with the bow it does that. The feedback. Oh, maybe he already dropped down. Oh no, there he is. Yeah. The storm level has a few hidden doors. Oh yeah, you know what? Yeah. Uh you might be right about that actually. Isn't the um isn't that that stupid skeleton that you have to farm for like pure bladestone hidden behind one of those doors? 
Or was that a switch door? Maybe that's a switch door, actually. Fucking hate that skeleton. Stupid pure blade still. Oh fuck, yep, oh fuck, I forgot how fucking nasty he was. <laughs> I forgot, I forgot how horrible he was. <laughs> I completely forgot about how fucking horrible that spear attack is. <laughs> Dead. Just, he just like, he just hit you multiple times until you die with that spear. Oh fuck, I completely forgot how horrible he was. <laughs> it's alright. That was not far away at all. Fucking classic red eyes, I know. BA users, man. They suck. The high ground was not your friend today. <laughs> Whoops. I ran out of stamina mid attack there. Yeah, Crescent Moongrass is definitely popping up a bit more than it used to. Thanks to that lovely ring. <laughs> Good addition, that. Because you could, unlike other Souls games, you could actually run out of healing in this game. <laughs> Timed it wrong. Son of a bitch, I forgot he heals. Well, I'll heal too. Ow. I'm glad that me getting stabbed with a bow didn't ruin my stealth. Uh. Souls, I don't want to fight you. I don't want fuck shit. I don't want to fight you. Come over. He follows you to the end of the earth. Oh, he does. Yeah. Honestly, so much damage. He needs so much help. Oh, 
I'm sure there was a point where he backed off and that you could like backstab him, but I can't remember where it was. <laughs> Now that I, I just, I didn't want to have to fight him, but he came after me, so I kind of had to. But now my souls are nowhere near him, so I don't have to fight him again, which is good. <laughs> I can just, I can pick up my souls and not have to deal with them. This is guy. This is like, like this is like muscle memory for me doing this, <laughs> running around and kill each one of the guys on the stairs. I'm like, oh yeah, I've done this. I remember doing this millions of times. Son of a bitch. Didn't mean to pick up stuff while I was while he was attacking me then. Alright, this time we don't have to deal with the stupid knight, so we'll be fine. We'll just We'll just leave the knight be. And we'll come back to the knight. Ricky Ticky Taffy Bitch! And we Ricky Ticky Taffy bitch. Seventeen again, starring Zach Efron. <laughs> Seventeen again, starring Zac Efron. Was my? There they are. All right, good. Now we don't have to worry about going back to that stupid dickhead. <laughs> Alright, let's continue on. How is Best Boy? How is Best Boy? Oh, you mean how am I Best Boy? Right, okay. I was like, do I know someone called Best Boy? Am I? I'm playing Demon Souls, I'm very happy, I'm in my element. I am in my element right now. Oh, shit. How can we put a shield up? And then was like, you know what? No, I don't need my shield. No, I'm dead. Why does Spear Boy get all the health? Or poor Sword Boy hardly gets any? It's all in the eyes. Blue eyes don't get nothing in this world. You gotta be a red. You gotta be a red-eyed maniac. There's any jumping attacks in this game, is there? No, there isn't. It's funny what how, what I what I'm like, man, I don't think this is any dude the the way the wood breaks is so good. Like it split all the little bits it falls, that's so good. Oh this guy, yeah. Good day to you. Care to look over my wares? 
Oh, his mouth. Mostly stolen, but who's telling me? His mouth is creepy. Nice ways. Good ways, man. Good ways. I like your ways. Care to look over me, way? Me ween. <laughs> me weenie, weenie, weenie. I'm a, I'm a weenie, ween, ween. I'm a teeny, ween, ween. Oh yeah, lots of bow guys around by there. I'm like constantly amazed at the visuals in this. Ooh, a guillotine axe. your ass down, buddy. That's why we come around from the back end. A scimitar. The guillotine axe. You can get up there. From here. You can get up there from elsewhere. Well done, guys. Well done. Real smart. Real smart. Real smart. That was. That was a. That was a. That was a. That was a pro move right there. My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Boletaria. Ostrava! I this as a token of my gratitude. Yes. Thank you for the brass telescope. Now I take my leave. There is something I must do. Love his weapons. You've got a cool ass sword and shield again. Thanks for that wonderful, uh. What's my sword looking? Come on, will you see how it needs repairing? Oh, there it is. There, yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get that beautiful uh, brass telescope on. I'm coming, Ostrava. Here. No matter how far I venture, only the soul starved remain. Is there a single sane person left in Boletaria? Nah. Me? I'm pretty sane, right? <laughs> Me and my cool boy looks. 
Handsome, the handsomest boy in the world. You coming down here with me? We're gonna fi fight the big boys over there. Get him with Strava, I'm just gonna heal a second, don't mind me. Anything else you want to do there, buddy? What? Jesus, my health, my health. <laughs> I gotta stop, stop shielding those. They just wipe out your health with this shield. This is, not, this is not a shield for shielding large amounts of damage. This is a shield for uh, parrying, mostly. Our shitty wooden shield. I mean, it's better than the draggling shield, I suppose. <laughs> Pass my plane, a pog champion. Yeah, I'm a pog champion. Look at him roll around. Yeah, you keep rolling. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll be the one that does that. I'll take care of him. He's just like, roll, 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 roll. And I'll just run over and smack this guy in the face. Yellow! more people do you want to throw at me right now? <laughs> okay, he can't hit me right now because he's he's got the doofy bow area. Just gonna run up and get rid of the uh, the bow guys first. Hi uh Is there another one? I think there was like another one, uh, like one step up again. Oh yeah, 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 yeah there he is. There he is in this guy. I have the low ground, which is an advantage in this. <laughs> you want to be on the lower step. Bye! He survived! Oh my god. I can't believe he survived. I'm fine. I'm fine. I just, uh... Hit my... Yeah, well, how about... Ah! We traded blows. We traded blows. No one, no one won that game. Apart from me. Because I didn't die. But no one really won. I hope a giant monster pop out when you said how many men are going to come at you. No, no giant monsters run by here. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Get him, Ostrava! Get him! Get him, Ostrava! 
Get him, Estrava! Thanks for the souls, bitch. <laughs> I, I, I was the, I'm like the Gaines Goblin, but uh, for souls. Just hanging out while he kills people and stealing all their souls. Right, I remember you can get, you can get up, you can get over there, but I don't remember. Oh, there you go, yeah. <laughs> I don't remember what that does. Hard for enemies to detect. Okay. When you say Ostrava, I can't help hearing Australia. <laughs> ah, yes. Australia of Boletaria. Wait, you can you, you can do that on anything now? I don't remember that. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Okay. Maybe you always could do it on a lot of ledges, actually. Right, now, this bit, um... Damn, look at this, man. So good. Such a good atmosphere, you know? Right. I think there's boulders? Some, something's around here. This is it. You break this. My champions. Cannonball run. <laughs> it's a strike, baby. Where is that? I don't think that's somewhere you can go by there. I don't remember being able to go down there. How did you die? Just died. <laughs> just died, just like that. Ah, yes, okay. Yes, I remember this. Yes, 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 yes. I always hated those spear guys. Right, this is the dragon. <laughs> Bug it off. You're not gonna you're not gonna attack?
I think you can... I think if you just run from the start, you can actually make it before he starts breathing fire. This leads to the area where the dragons chill out. the wall. We end, we end up over there. The long, the big long wall run. Archstone shard and a full moon ring. Shit in hell. Oh, I didn't think you could hit me from by there. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he's a... Uh, they're rough. They're rough. <laughs> you can kill him. You can kill him. But, uh... You need a bow. Pretty sure you need a bow. No, I know, I don't, I don't remember the red dragon getting off the wall. Right, here we go. It's gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna lag it now. Crazy man. <laughs> you have white soul tendency, you can approach. We'll be back for those dragons. Right, so this opens up the, the door to Phalanx. the first boss, which is a blob covered in blobs of shields. Who froze those? Oh! Tight corridors. Dangerous places to be in a Souls game. Alright, so best way to take care of the Phalanx. You want to have uh, fire bombs. Those are extremely useful. Thank you. want to have... We only full moon grass. That's ridiculous right now. That would way over heal us. And we'll have pine resin as well. Those two will make this boss way easier. Because he don't like fire. He don't like fire, this boss. Plus, uh, once you start attacking it, all the blobs on the side start dropping off, so you're going to be killing them as many as you can at, the, at once. 
Magic is the best option. <laughs> I say poop on that. I say no. Oh, there's one of them right there. That's what the boss is made up of, a small uh, bunch of those. Well, sorry, it's covered in those, I should say. They don't like fire. They don't like fire. The sound of the fire is so good. Like, honestly, the sound effects in this are like are super dude. This this deserves an award for like sound effects <laughs> or something that's so good. Alright, okay, here we go. We're going to be going in harder the firebombs to start. Let's do this. Sound design, yeah. Okay, we're getting there. It's working. It's working. We're getting through the the mass of mass of blob people. Pine resin ourselves up. Let's do this. Fire is the way. Fire is the way. If I was going to take to anyone that, first boss, fire. That was easy, yeah. As long as you know to use fire, that boss is fine. If you don't know to use fire, that boss will take a while. <laughs> because you have to slowly work your way through each of the... Because it's covered in shield, guys. And you have to slowly work your way through them all. you got to keep whacking them and slowly killing them. If you use fire bombs, no problem. But you won't know that most of the time when you go when you go up against him the first time. Now we can level up. This is a mistake a lot of people made when they played this. Uh, they instead of touching the archstone, archstone again, the archstone, they'd carry on. Uh, but if you, if you if you take it back to the next is you can actually level up then. So you did slowly whack the shields? Yeah, it takes a while slowly whacking the shields. Welcome.
come back. What up? Nice wax the eyes. Mental awaits the above. Mm. Sup? <laughs> What's up, hot dog fingers? Bug snacks, baby, yeah! Bug snacks, all the bug snacks! Bug snacks! The <laughs> Get the bug snacks! Explain the nexus to thee. Ooh, there's all souls of people. You got anything to tell me? Still alive? I am impressed. This is something that might interest you. The black-robed maiden of the Nexus looks after the flames. She's the morose one, with eyes sealed. Can you feed butt snacks to the maiden in black? <laughs> she can control souls. Do you think I can no give her other? Oreo eyes? Bring her the souls wow. of men and demons. Just imagine the black, the maiden in black, uh, just with just two giant Oreos for eyes. Their power. But beware! Do not decay into a foul beast. Beast. The mouth movement in this is freaking me out, but. The monumental awaits the above. I also like how she, her mouth doesn't move when she talks. Because she she talks to you in your mind. Alright, so we're gonna go up to the Monumental, uh, which is a little dude. Uh, and then, uh, and I think we talk to her, we can level up, and all the uh, Archstones wake, and then. And then we can go wherever we want. It's up to us. You can, you can take on this game in any order you want. Apart from the uh, False King Alon fight. Defilement. <sighs> There's a place I want to go to get a magical Uchitana. Try to remember the way I used to get the blue blood sword as fast as I can. Problem is, is trying to fight the um. I can't remember what. I can't remember what's in the pantheon. People who've been in the game, I actually I generally don't remember. <laughs> Your was Fendrickson. Sixth strongest first completion. Francis Zach Morgan. Six most souls obtained. Strongest first completion. Zero. So, what does this even mean? Uh. 
Most phantoms saved. I don't even know. I don't really remember what these are about. Mender of the world. It's me, it's Daddy Squeeb. What the fuck is that armor? Cool as shit. I don't remember that armor at all. Yeah, I, I don't know if the ne I don't know if the next seems gonna kick in. Yeah, this is the this is the next scene I remember. Boom, boom, boom. I think it might after we do all the bits and bobs. Right, there we go. I missed. I want. I just wandered straight past them before. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is a tale I wish to tell you. Once, we too, a scourge of demons face. You look very young. <laughs> In the distant past, under benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul art. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colorless, deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the Old One back to its slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and most of the world lost, erased by the fog. <laughs> Erased. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six leaders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet industrious land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One to the shaman of the tempest worshipping shadowmen. And the giants. And the last to the great giants of the northern land. Which we never got to do. The archstones were placed in the fringelands that survived. We contained the old one here below the nexus and prohibited the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. Oh, it's the old theme. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and see the way <laughs> for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to bear this burden? 
Yes. Sure, why not? It's not like we can do anything we say no. To have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. Thanks, Eternal Baby. Baby that never ages. Oh, baby, baby. Baby, baby. 